Now we want to introduce you to a remarkable machine that can take a snapshot of your health with minimum fuss. Our natural health guest is from Health 2000. Gary Van Dyke joins me in the Harvey Norman Lounge. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. How are you? I'm very, very well. Thank you for bringing your little machine in to show us what it does. No what problem at all. exactly is a hair scanner? Well, hair scan allows us to, as you said, give us a snapshot of what's going on in your life now. It's kind of like looking through a window at your health. It's going to uh, show us your uh, nutrient needs, your vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, amino acids, which are those base nutrients for proteins and muscle tissue and hormones and all those wonderful things. But it'll also look at some of the interferences in your life, like, to like toxicity levels and cell phone technologies that are interfering with health. Ooh. Okay, yeah. that sounds fascinating. I want to learn a little bit more about that in a minute. Why would someone like me, why would I go and ask for a scan? Well, if, you, are you, if you're interested in health or you're working on a health challenge, this is going to give you an idea of what, you, what your needs are currently is to complete that journey to match your goals, really. So how does yeah. it actually work? All right, well, we all know that uh, hair actually holds on to things. It's a storage facility, really. We've been using hair to get an assessment of minerals and toxicity levels for years. In fact, they're doing drug testing now with hair. Mm. So what this device here does is it uh, converts the energy signature. So everything has an energy signature. An apple is, carries a different energy signature to a pear. Well, it's all measured in hertz just like vitamin B6 is a different uh, energy signature to magnesium. Okay. So this device actually captures the energy signature from the hair, from that library of the hair, uh, converts it uh, into a uh, digital binary code, and that's then matched against a model. A model is based on your age, gender, activity level, and any of those interferences that the device picks up. It will then spit out a report about 15 minutes later that's going to give you recommendations to complete your journey to health. So it does all this in 15 minutes? 15 to 20 minutes maximum, yeah. Wow, so what does it actually tell us? Well, I've brought my, my own report here, and on the front page, this is, gives us a bit of a, uh, a summary of what's going on, and this is in my life here. Okay, now you should be a fairly healthy guy. Since you're we're we're sure relatively so, but we all have our own needs, and because this is a snapshot of today, everybody's needs can be different right. uh, based on the day and based on the stresses of the day. So, uh, for instance, it's showing here that I've got an amino acid deficiency, and it prioritizes things. So it's uh, P is uh, priority, and then we've got other codes here as well. So that means you have to sort out your amino acids. I should be level. looking at amino acids, but of okay. course there's a whole bunch of amino acids, so which one do you look at? Well, we've got that covered too. So later on in the report it gets detailed, and you can say this is page 14. It's oh, a quite right. a lengthy okay. report. So this is actually telling me what amino acids I actually need to be focusing on. So in my case, we've got taurine, we've got threonine, we've got carnitine, and citrulline. Okay. But where do you get that in your diet? Yes, exactly. Not a problem. We've got that covered too. Good. I didn't know So later on in the report, page 26 in this case, <laughs> oh it's, it's uh, looking at those foods that I can actually get those specific nutrients. Now we're just looking at amino acids here. It's also looking at vitamins, minerals, etc. So. so it could tell me if I needed to be taking magnesium or something. It could, or vitamin D. We talked about vitamin D last time. We so did. We, could, we did. We could find out uh, whether your vitamin D load is where it should be. So where can we have the hair follicle scans done? Well, we can have you can have that done at most Health 2000 stores. And I brought along one of our magazines, which you can get in the stores. And on the very back page, there is a wonderful little map, and they are all marked with the stores that you can fi uh, find the hair scan at. Also, if you go to our website at www.health2000.co.nz right. uh, and press on the store finder, look at your local store and you'll find out whether uh, the hair scan's uh, accessible. That's through fascinating. That store. So, yeah. so you said it can actually change from day to day. Like if I went in today and had it done and then went in maybe next week, it could be quite different? It could be because what's your stress load today versus what's your stress load next week? Okay, and how much yeah. product does my hair probably and counts as well? <laughs> have to take that factor in? Well, if it's being absorbed through the skin, that's toxicity levels that are going to vary as well. So, okay, yeah. well, that sounds yeah. fascinating. I'm definitely it going to is. get that done. Hey, thank Good. you so much for joining us today. Not a problem at all. And now it, you can go to the Health 2000 website or take a look in the Health 2000 magazine, as we mentioned, for a full list of store locations around New Zealand.